Okay, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you the finishing for the little girl gown and show you a couple of options of ways to trim it. One thing we're going to do when we get the gown all made is we're going to take a few stitches at the neckline to gather it up just a little bit to give it um, a little more finished look. So what I've done is I'm using a, a double thread in my needle. I knotted it and I'm just going to take a few stitches across the neckline here to give the gown a little gathering. And I'm sewing right on top of the top stitch stitches that I from where I sewed the lace in the earlier video. Now once the gown has been sewn to this point, it'll be handed over to someone to do the handwork and to finish it. This can also be done on the sewing machine for someone that uh, feels they would rather do that. Okay, so I've just done a gathering, a running stitch along the neckline there, like I said on the top stitch row. And then I'm just going to pull this thread up just a little bit to give it a little bit of a gather. In the little boy gown we did the little pleat, in the girl gown we'll do a little gather. Don't want to do it too tight, make sure that we they have enough room around the neck and then I'm just going to knot it off in the back. And clip close to my knot. And then I have a little bit of gathering, make it a little more feminine looking. Now I've taken a piece of um, about 18 inch, about 18 inches of 1 8 inch ribbon and for that we can just tack it to the neckline using the zigzag, a tiny zigzag on the sewing machine or if someone wants to sew it on by hand that's fine also but as you can see it, it's sweet. Now we have several options. We have some colored buttons that we could put here. We have ribbon rosebuds. We have um, ribbon bows that are really pretty. Um, actually the ribbon bows are for the booties. They wouldn't look that nice over a ribbon bow we already have on here. But the ribbon roses would look nice. We, and like I said, we have some little colored buttons like hearts and flowers and that sort of thing. One thing that I ask is that if you are doing a, um, a little girl's gown and you want, you, you're embellishing, you're doing the handwork, if you're going to add a, a colored button like a pink button, I would suggest that you find, get a pair of pink booties from the booty table to make sure that the colors coordinate when we put it all in a package. I wouldn't want to have a, um, say a purple button on the gown and then have to put pink booties with it. We only have pink and white booties for the girl gowns, or the girl outfits. Now one other option is this little gown, and it's so very pretty with this medallion on here. Sister Melody De Giovanni in the Canoe Creek Ward was able to get a wedding gown train for five dollars at the Goodwill and she worked diligently on, to take all of the lace off of that train so that we could use it. And this medallion here came from the border lace that was around the bottom of the train. There are quite a few more medallions like this so if you are working on the gowns and you would like to decorate the gown with some of these, I think that's just very appropriate. And then on this, I put one over the, the little bonnet after I made it and then pleated it and everything just as the pattern says to do. So that just gives a very dressy look to this little gown. Now for the boy gown, as we the one we made before. Um, the little vest overlaps in the front and we have little white buttons I think I mentioned in the video about this gown that can be sewn on the front and I'm going to take a minute and show you how to sew the button on neatly so that you don't have a big knot showing. First of all you want to use two threads, always, a double thread always for sewing buttons on especially if it's clothing somebody's going to wear. I did a knot 
and then I'm going to trim the ends really close to that knot so I don't have anything showing. Then when I sew a button on a garment, I don't want that knot to show. So what I do is I start on the top rather on, than on the wrong side of my garment with my knot. That is going to be hidden by the button that I'm sewing on. Now these buttons don't, aren't going to have any stress on them, so we don't need to do a lot of passes through the button. Two or th three or four will be fine. This little vest overlaps quite a bit, so I'm going to do the buttons side by side rather than one above the other. Kind of a little double-breasted look. Now on this last pass through, I'm going to come back up with the thread and then to knot it I'm going to pull the thread to the left like that and come around the button and insert my needle in that loop and pull it tight and then I'm going to go in the other direction and go from the top through that loop and pull it tight and that makes a knot and holds it and then I'm going to trim the tail off right close to the button so on the back it's very neat, there's just a few stitches that show, and that knot is hidden where no one else will see it. I'm going to put one more button on the vest. Again, I'm going to go from the top so that my, butt, my knot is buried. Let me get them even here. There we go. Pass the needle through the first hole of the button. And I'm going to go back in where the knot was. This way, too, I don't have to go up and down. I can just push the needle through from the top and over. now I'm going to knot it. I, I went to the left and pull it with my thumb and come around, go under the thread there, and as I pull it, pull it tight around the button. And then the next time I'm going to go back to the right and go under it, under the thread, hold it around the button, and pull it tight. And then the thread. Isn't that cute? So see, it's very neat. If you flip it over to the back side, you just have a couple of stitches that show. Now I would continue and do two or three little buttons here, maybe on the, the smallest one, only put two buttons on to give the idea of a shirt. On the bigger vest, we can add three and space them out evenly. On the boy pants, we can leave the hat as is, or it's sometimes cute to fold it back and put one little button right here on the brim. I did